You've probably heard of the saying, don't put all of your eggs in one basket. This same idea applies to FDIC protection of bank accounts. Let's break down how FDIC insurance protects your hard-earned savings and what steps you can take to stay covered. FDIC insurance covers up to $250,000 per depositor, per bank, and per account type. So for example, let's say you have $500,000 and you put $250,000 in a checking account at Bank A. But you still have $250,000 left over to protect, so what can you do? You can decide to move that money to Bank B into a separate account. With two different banks and accounts, your $500,000 should generally be fully covered under FDIC insurance. But it's always a good idea to confirm with your banks just to double check that you're within the limits. What if you have more than $250,000 in one account? That extra amount could be at risk if the bank were to fail. However, what if you're married? A joint account can be insured up to $500,000, $250,000 for each person. Diversifying your money across different banks and account types is key to maximizing your coverage. And FDIC insurance isn't just for checking accounts. Savings accounts, CDs, and certain retirement accounts are all protected as well. However, stocks, bonds, and life insurance policies are not protected. Now, if you're managing larger sums of money within a trust, those accounts have their own rules. Each beneficiary is insured up to $250,000 and up to a maximum of five beneficiaries per trust. If used the way it's intended, FDIC insurance is designed to protect you in case your bank fails. If you're unsure if your money is fully protected or you need help spreading out your risk appropriately, schedule a call with us today.